Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Zalings. I want to welcome you virtually to our Animal Training and Research Moss Landing Marine Labs Cal State Marine Mammal Facility. So I realize it's a little awkward, but uh, we're going to have you dip your feet and come on in. I see that you're wearing your mask and I appreciate that. We here at Sluice are also social distancing. And look here, there's one of my staff members now. This is uh, Haley Prescott and she is an assistant trainer as well as a new Moss Landing Marine Labs graduate student. Everybody was here for Kaylee, yay. You gave away, right? Okay. And not to be outdone, the lady running the camera, Bree Wheeler, who's also another student of ours. She's a full trainer here at the facility. And that's the three staff that we have for today. I just wanna give you a little briefing on our facility. This is our uh, handmade, <laughs> we cleared the land, we built the pools and we maintain them. We've been raising money for really two decades now to maintain this facility. We've got uh, five animals and four pools. It goes back quite a ways and we try to uh, provide the best, most wholesome welfare and care that we can for the animals. All of them have various hard luck stories. And they eat about 100 pounds of human grade sushi a day. <laughs> So we need to fundraise to support that because right now it looks like all of our activities are cut off for the rest of the year and that's how we usually would be raising the money to pay for these guys. So I hope you'll help us at our CauseVox campaign. It's save, SOS, save our sea lions at causebox.com. So this is Nemo and Nemo originally came to us after he was shot in the face. And so he has lost, why don't you show him? He's lost most of the teeth on one side of his face and had a bunch of surgeries there. But the good thing for Nemo is he came to us and now he is 24 years old, which is four years older than the oldest available, or the oldest living wild male. So that's, that's a pretty good job. Yeah, you did great. This is Ariel, and she's our best painter. Ariel is going to be making paintings as donor rewards. Yes, I'm getting to you. To thank people for helping us. Ready, Ariel? Here you go. Okay. Ooh. Good. So this is Callie. She's 17 years old, and she came to us after her mother died from a toxic algae poisoning, and she was born one month premature. But Callie is now, to our knowledge, the oldest surviving demoic acid poison animal in the world. And she is still going strong, although she does have some neurologic problems and some other problems that have lingered as a result of this initial poisoning. You're pretty good, aren't you? No? Yeah. Okay. You like me, huh? Oh. So this is Gaia, and you may not be able to see, but she's got one eye that doesn't work. It's this one, and it rolls around in her head like uh, like Mad-Eye Moody. <laughs> she had some kind of significant trauma to herself when she was out in the wild, and she's uh, lost the eye as a result. And speaking of that, it requires a lot of care, so we've got to give her these eye drops to keep the inflammation down. Eye, good. Good. And those have to be in for about five minutes so that they can fully absorb. Good job. So this is Freya, and she's one of our strandlers that came in from entanglement issues. She stranded again and again, and was deemed unreleasable because of her inability to survive on her own. She almost lost her life to a infection in her lungs uh, at the beginning of her life, and she required a lot of care for the first several years. 
but you can see she's doing pretty well now. You wanna get your teeth brush? <laughs> yeah, okay. Brush. Hope to see you back here one day. Thanks for your help.